Okay, so bear with me. This is going to be a little shaky. Uh, this is just going to be a video showing this clamp being mounted to this table. For those that bought the plan, um, this is the clamp off of the old vice, I mean, off of the old bench. And what you have, you have the two uh, runner bars, what I call it, and then you got the thread, threaded bar. And the way this is going to be mount to the table, if we were to mount this up under that apron like this, let me see if I can come down here and show you. It's going to hit that. It's going to hit that shelf under there. You see that? Okay. All right. So what we got to do is we have to bring it up into the apron and drill three holes on the other uh, on the other table this is what the jaw was sitting on okay i had my my jaw on here like this and that's how it was uh, mounted like so there's the holes that line up so it was mounted like this that was on the apron side just like that and these two pieces that come out were mounted on the bottom of the apron on the old table like this. And I had screws ran up through the holes into the, into the apron. But on this table, I can't do that because that would sit too low like I was just showing you. And the bars would run into this shelf unit that's sitting about right in here up under the tabletop. And so the bars would come through and hit that and it wouldn't close all the way. I'd have to either drill through that shelving unit that's under there, which I don't want to do, or I'll have to, I have to raise this up. And if I raise this up, you see how that's going to, what's going to happen. I don't have any way to mount this to the wood. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around just like so. And we're going to mount this with these holes on the bottom edge of that apron. I actually going to line this edge here up with the bottom of the apron and I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to come over uh, see if I can show you okay so here here's the leg on the corner just right out of frame here is the end of the table right here see so let me go back up a little bit so here here's the the end of that leg piece all oh, this is that leg so I'm going to cheat over a little bit because on the other table, uh, I, my dog holes were a little bit too far from the edge. Um, so I'm going to come over just a little bit. And i got to keep in mind, I've got pocket holes in here. So, you know, these holes here that you're going to screw into the table, keep in mind you've got a couple of screws in there that you need to try to avoid. But we're going to just turn this around. And we're going to mount this straight just directly to the tabletop. Okay. Um, and this will give me two, two good references because once I hold this up, I can just take a long pencil and go in there and these holes right here and just trace out where the center of that hole is going to be. And I can just drill in, um, uh, those three holes. And all I got to do is drill holes that are big enough for the, the two rods and the threaded rod to go through. And that's it. Uh, but one thing I want to show you is when you mount this, if you reference off of these rods right here, let me show you what's going to happen. When you go all the way in with it, those wings down there are going to hit, hit that. See where it's uh, meeting right here? those wings are hitting that that jaw uh, we're gonna have to take uh, and just cut a piece of that out on the table saw and just rip that that much off of that that jaw there so I'll come in here and rip off about uh, I don't know let me get sucking there we go I'm gonna rip off about about that much and uh, and that way it'll clear this wing here because I've already got the screws into the jaw here. 
this is the remember this is what I've already had on here. I've got a video on mounting this on my other table. So if you have any confusion, just reference that video about how how to do it, how to put the jaws on and all that. But because I've already got the holes drilled and mounted and all that stuff, I'm gonna have to just come back and cut some of this off. And then once we get everything mounted, we're gonna have to take it off again because we want to trim off however much we need to trim off to be even with the uh, top of the table because we don't want our vise sticking up above the table like so you know we want our vise to be even with the, with the tabletop so we can you know this our our it's our out feed table as well so if we have a piece of wood we want to slide all the way off we don't want something in the way to where it's going to hit um, I like this vice a lot. I had a issue. If you bought the plans, uh, I had a had a person email me and tell me that the vice, um, the vice, the vice link that's in the original plans uh, was broken and that it went to Apple or something. So I went in and fixed it. So if you bought the plans, you can re-download those, uh, and it should be fixed. If not, send me an email and I'll send you the link for the vice that I'm using. Um, so that was my fault, oversight on my end, but, uh, I can't recall his name, but, uh, Kevin, I think Kevin, thank you for catching that. I really appreciate it. Put those back in the same place. Gotta be careful. I don't want to strip these screws out or these holes. But using them so much but I shouldn't have to take this one back off well yeah well I'll have to trim it right here I want to tighten it down because I want to get a nice uh, mark on where I need to cut it the screwdriver Jeff Ferguson made me he brought that to me when we, when we made the uh, shop cart okay so now we can see that of course that's got a gap in it there's gonna be another jaw there so uh, that's good I mean I've got some thick you know thick jaws here so I'm losing a little bit of clamping capacity but um, you know I'm not really worried about it I mean mostly what I clamp up is you know no bigger than probably three 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 and a half inches or whatever so um so that that cleared the uh let's see if i can get a close-up shot of that so you can see right under there i've got clearance this is clearing that little wing right there before it was hitting way back here it was stopping like right in right in there because the wood was coming down here and it was hitting that. So now, once I put the other jaw on, I had to go all the way up to it and tighten up so it'll be good. Right in there. So I've got a Forstner bit. Um, let me see what size. Five eighths. I think it's actually a little bit bigger than what I need. But uh, all we need is for the have a have a place for these uh, rods to travel. Now the trick is finding the. center of these all right now we can test it and hope that it works we'll see how well it works when we get the vise lined up all right so i've marked my holes i'm gonna go right in the center
it. So it kind of pulled it up a little bit. It may not be level, and it's not. So, and we're level. All right, now what I can do is line these holes up, put the screw in, and what I've done, I've got this uh, first hole, or the first hole goes all the way through, just big enough for the screw to pass through. The second hole is big enough for the head to go in, so it gives it a stop, okay? Um, and I'm gonna line these two up with these two holes. And that's gonna secure the vise even further. And now I can put my vise in. the screw goes through. I think these other two are okay. Um, let me try something. I've got a real coarse file from Harbor Freight. These things have a lot of pricklies on them. So I'm going to use this. Hopefully it'll... And it's gonna be the top side. See how well that did. I'm thinking if we can get it to go in, it'll work itself out or cut grooves in it. All right. I'm gonna mark it even, and then I'll just go slightly below with the, when I uh, line it up with the blade. These two pieces right here. I cut that much off. All right. I think we're okay. I just don't like that they're uneven a little bit. There's a lip there. So, I may just take it down with a hand plane. All right, guys. So that's the uh, that's the vice install. Um, I got to go back and put the screws through the bottom of the vice up into the jaw liners, and that might pull it down a little bit. So I may have to go back with a hand plane again and uh, smooth it out some more. But uh, for the most part, that's it. If you bought the plans and you have questions, comment down below. I will get back to you on it. Um, other than that, you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. See. You.